Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College, getting ready to go out here at Red Mill down in uh, Lower Delaware. I'm going to throw some spin, swim baits today, mostly Spro, BBZ1, and Huddleston's, uh, and a true tungsten. So, swim baits are on and off, uh, it depends. You catch big ones, uh, maybe you catch one or two, sometimes you catch none for days. So, we'll see what happens. I'm going to finish breaking in the motor, and I'll see you guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, couldn't get a thing. Tried everything. Uh, spinner baits, chatter baits, uh, swim jigs. Tried everything. Uh, put on the black and blue dirty jigs with the Grandy Bass uh, Mega Claws trailer. And uh, there you go. He weighs uh, a good four and a half, almost five pounds. Tremendous amount. Flipped it right into the dock right here, uh, right up on the highway here at the first cove. Nice, nice bass. See that? Look at that jig down there in his mouth. Pretty nice, not giant, nice, good, uh, solid, three and a half, four pounds. Three and a half, four pounds. Decent bass. All right, let's let this one go, and uh, let's go get some more on the jig. There's three boats on the lake, and I've talked to the people and nobody has anything at all. They're throwing spinner baits and rattle traps and chatter baits, things like that. And uh, same thing I was doing. And then I put on the Grandy Bass um, Mega Claws trailer on the Dirty Jigs HP Flipping Jig, and uh, wham, hit him right away. So I'm tying on a couple different ones, different colors. Um, with the Grandy Bass trailers. One I'm going to put a mutant on the back of. We're going to flip this into all the docks and lay downs and off the points and see what happens. Throw in the dirty jig. Switch jig colors. Use the same thing, uh, Mega Bass Grandy Claws. But uh, switch jig colors. And uh, caught that with this nice, nice bass. This time I. Uh, anyway, that, that's a nice bass. So you can see that's. Uh, not giant, but two and a half, almost three pounds. So these are the type of docks they're hitting on. They're hitting right on the post, just like the summertime. You just flip the jigs into the docks on the at the beginnings of the coves and on the main lake. And these are the Grandy Bass Mega Claws that they're hitting. So this is a mutant here. That's the mutant. And then this is the Mega Claws, and that's what they're hitting right now. Now I had thrown the, the swim baits for quite some time. I threw a Spro BBZ-1, and uh, I threw uh, the Huddlestons, and I, then I, when I didn't catch any after a couple hours in the best spots with the swim baits, of course I threw chatter baits and spinner baits and every other fast moving bait rattle traps, but they just didn't want to have anything to do with those today. As soon as I switched to the dirty jigs with the Grandy Bass uh, Mega Claws trailer, the bass started hitting right away. Not hot and heavy, but I've got two nice bass. Here we go. Here we go. Another one on the jig. And there's another one. See, now that's not a giant, but another one on the dirty jigs with the Grandy Bass trailer. That's number three now. The jig has saved the day. It's, they're all in real tight to cover. That one came right out of that tree, right out of the gnarly branches on the inside of it. And that's in the shade, too. They're not on the north shore. They're just in the tightest cover there is. The sun, apparently, has put them on the tightest cover there is. They're just holding there tight. And there he goes. That's what they're coming out of right here. You gotta really pitch it in tight. I'm using 65 pound test braid on that seven and a half foot Abu Garcia Veritas rod with the uh, Shimano uh, Sitica reel, 6.2 to 1. That's as slow as you want to go. You want a 6.4 or even a 7 to 1 on this and just, you just gotta pull them right out of that cover as fast as soon as they hit. Very light hits too. You wouldn't even know that they were on there if you didn't have your hand on the exposed blank and had braid on. You really have to be paying attention. Very, very light hits, just like Now, even though you have emerging pads back here in these creeks, the bass aren't in them yet. 
I threw a spinner bait and chatter bait and everything all around the pads and they're just not out in the pads. head back in caught those ones you saw on the jig and then uh, they kind of turned off so we're going to get on out of here and I'll see you guys back at the ramp well I hadn't really planned on fishing this long uh, I was just going to throw a few swim baits and break the motor in the rest of the way so we were ready to go next time but uh, just got the better of me <laughs> through those spinner baits chatter baits all those things like I told you before and they just didn't hit it uh, and then I put the jigs on and uh, the jigs did the trick so uh, got to get in tight right now tight to cover right up into the docks into the laydowns that's where they are so throw those dirty jigs the grandy bass you'll probably have some good luck the next time so until next time Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College and I'll see you Sunday at Knoxon Town with Tom and Kurt.